Hey guys, welcome back to Stacy Goes Outside. It's Monday night, decided to do a little pond hopping. We're about two and a half weeks after all of these big fires in Northern California. So the sky is still a little bit smoky, if you can see behind me. It's looking a little overcast, so I thought that the bite might be pretty good right now. I'm actually back in the location where I filmed that video where I lost all those fish on a frog and I ended up just catching them on a Ned rig. So I'm actually across the road at the second pond. I've got my Ned rig set up, Old Faithful of course, just because I want to have a chill night of fishing. I've got the TRD in bubble gut. It's a little pinkish with a red jig head. It's mimic all the dead crawfish that I see on the bank here. So hopefully this is a winning combo tonight. Little guy. Okay, I see big ripples over there. Maybe this is where they're all holding. <gasps> what the heck was that? Oh my God, there's something big over there, you guys. Kinda have to keep an eye out for frogs here because there are a lot of them. I don't wanna catch a frog. Oh my gosh, what was that? Got one. No, Ned Rig. Yeah, it got stuck on top and then it hit it. Little one. There's gotta be bigger ones than that in here. Not a bad looking guy though. Let's keep going. A little bit bigger, probably. Oh. Stay on. Stay on. Oh, God. Oh, big one. Big one. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Stay on, stay on. Oh. Oh. oh my God! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. All right, we're weighing this one, guys. Oh my God. That's crazy. Oh my God, a breath. Don't tell me my battery's dead. Do you have a scale? Got it? Got it? Three point one nine. Holy cow. Thank you. It's pretty big, so three point one nine. Got my revenge. Didn't even realize there were fish this big in this pond, so I guess we'll look for some more. All right, let's get this guy back in the water. So big. Thank you so much. Oh, there you go. It took off. Didn't want to see me anymore. Oh, 
I knew it. Saw a freaking boil. Haha. <laughs> nothing huge but you gotta pay attention to the water so I was I don't know 30 feet that way saw a little bit of commotion over here I knew that if I threw this this is the black and blue TRD hogs by the way threw it right on that mat out there there would be something underneath it all right let's get this little guy back I'm looking in my um, GoPro and it's very forgiving. It makes it look like there's a lot more light out here than there really is. But one of my challenges fishing this late is, you know, with a Ned Rig, I'm so used to watching my line. And since there's no sun, I can't see my line. My casts aren't that great. Can't see my line. Maybe I need glow in the dark line. I don't know, does that exist? It exists. Someone send me some and I'll try it out. And make a video about it. I do have one main tip though. If you're gonna fish in the evening and it's getting dark and it's a pretty remote area, just, you know, fish with a buddy. Oh my God, I waited too long. This looks like some scary ass Blair Witch Project kind of videography. All right, guys, it's time to go home. I cannot believe that I caught that three pounder here. Never seen anyone catch anything that big. I know three pounds doesn't sound very big, but for this pond, that's considered a monster. I know there must be bigger fish in there. I never want to assume that I've caught the biggest fish at any location because then what's the motivation to come back really? After catching that three pounder, I'm really hoping that there is a five pounder on that side. So I'm going to keep coming back. I'll definitely try a few different things, maybe top water next time. If you've got some spots around Sacramento that you think I should be fishing, drop me a message. Maybe we'll go fishing together. If you're enjoying my channel, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, check out all my different playlists. And maybe when I'm back out here trying to look for that five pounder, I'll see you outside. <laughs>